Hi, this is White Mage Serenia, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In this episode, we um, return to the Narsh Coal Mines in an attempt to save Terra from the Imperial uh, Imperial soldiers. And we'll also meet some cuddly moogles who will help us out. And Locke apparently hates uh, Terra for what she done, but we'll forgive him. Uh, she wasn't in control of her actions. And Locke's agreed to help her. And uh, that guy, I think his name is Argus. In any case, he just told us that we need to also proceed to the Figaro Castle later on. Ah, how nice. They let us warp straight to Terra. the Moogles. They're gonna help her help them out. This is an explanation of how to use the Moogle team, but I'll be helping you out with that anyways. Really all you do is you get uh, more than one party now and you can switch between them using the square button. Now, I won't, here's a little trick I, I'll show you. What you want to do is switch to the party that has Mog as part of it. You want to um, go in here and empty his inventory. I'm sorry, empty, not equip. I'll tell you more about that later. It's more than likely an oversight from the programmers, but hey, it's a nice little tip that you can hand, hang on to right now. Um, also, move Mog in behind Lock there. Now, you, uh, you'll want to switch back to Lock. Now, I'll be editing out these battles, since they're mostly against Lobos and Vomammoth, or Vomammoths, but here we go. Okay, let's continue. Oh, also, um, when one of these guys get past your party member, one of your party members, it will automatically warp over to them and let that team fight them. I'll just go ahead and do this video, or this fight right quick, because I forgot to stop my timer here. And besides, there's that blizzard move I was telling you about before. It hurts, like I said. Also, if any of your teams gets wiped out, it'll automatically just warp them back to the start of the area there. I'll do some healing on my own time, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And we're back again. Okay, I'm gonna leave Locke sitting right by the boss, and I'm gonna switch over back to Mog's team so he can handle the enemies that are coming. And I'll be showing you these two battles because um, the character Mog gets interesting. And you wanna have at least one fight for him anyway. See that? Mog mastered a new dance. And now I'll demonstrate that dance for you. Basically what a dance is uh, is for Mog is it sends him into a trance. He basically fights using uh, elemental attacks based on the terrain, using attacks based off the terrain. Uh, and what's neat about it is if you're in a... If you're in a different terrain that his dance doesn't match, it'll actually change the background to that arena in most cases, which is kind of a neat effect. There's the snare move. It basically sucks the enemy into oblivion. It's a death attack.
Okay, that's all the enemies in that area. So now I'm gonna let uh, Locke take care of the boss. Switch back to him. And fight the boss. Net is a stop effect. And this is real something I forgot to mention. Locke being a thief, he has the steal command. And I just stole a mithril knife from the guard there, or the marshal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Time for Team B to take on, take them on. See, this is what happens when you, when your first party gets wiped out. See? It sends them back there to recover. Now we'll send Mog, the Mog's team down after them. I did not know it reset the battle. That's okay, we'll be fine. These t this team's fully prepared. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Cave in. There we go, we win. Alright, I think I have time to make it to the next section. And we saved Terra. Oh, and I... <laughs> a friend of mine actually just now reminded me that when I mentioned Biggs and Wedge from before, that they're actually Star Wars references, which, uh, I did know that, it just slipped my mind, but I'm glad they reminded me. They were references to, uh, Biggs and Wedge Antilles. I, li I think that's was his name, Wedge Antilles. In any case, that's, that's why they're named Biggs and Wedge. Looks like Locke was talking about a secret switch there. And Locke just found out that Terra has amnesia. Alright. Now, before leaving Narsh, you might want to stop in here with that guy staying outside the, outside the door there. It's a classroom for the beginner, and you can get some kind of nice stuff in there, like I'll show you. There's a spring here that can restore your HP. There's a save point, and there's several potions, uh, potions and th things of that nature. There's a battle in this sh uh, chest with some Lobos, and I'll edit that out. So here we go. And we're back. Yeah, um, this place, the hall, beginner of hall, or hall of beginners, rather, it has some things, like, they'll tell you how to, like, they'll give you different battle tactics, they'll tell you just basically the overall mechanics of the game. It's, it's a great place if you're just starting out on the game, and I would just highly recommend checking it out just for the items that you can get here. I'm not going to talk to the NPCs, because, well, I already know how to play the game, but... It'd be, you know, you might want, it might be worth checking out. Alright, I'll meet you back outside. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop. And, um, 
that's it all that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Next time we'll head to Figaro Castle and meet King Edgar. Thank you for watching uh, this episode, and we'll see you next time. This is White Mage Serenia saying take care.